starring Cloris Leachman, John Shepard, George Chandler, and John Provost as Timmy. And, of course, Lassie. Uh-oh. Did Mom see you? What'd she do? She's a precious mom. Always putting things where they belong and making me do it. Wolf's eggs are never gonna hatch. They are two. Timmy, I need you, son. Coming, Dad. Lassie, you stay here and watch Becky. And if anything happens, let us know. Hi, right, boys. Son, your hands are small. Would you reach in there and turn the screw on this bolt? That's it. Keep turning, huh? What do you do, Mr. Martin? Trying to fix the thermostat on this old incubator. How does the thermostat work, Mr. Martin? Well, you see, it goes like this. Electricity heats up the coils uh, the same as it does in your electric toaster. Now, if we allow the coils to stay red hot, the temperature will get over 100 and the eggs will cook. The way Becky does it is a lot easier. You can borrow her after she hatches her eggs. And take a hen a lot bigger than Becky to sit on 100 eggs. What's wrong with the thermostat, Mr. Martin? Well, it goes on when the temperature rises above or falls below 98, but sometimes this one doesn't. I've got a new incubator ordered, but until it gets here, I've got to keep the old one working. You see that light? Now, when that's burning, that's the danger signal. It's either too hot or too cold. Then what happens? Same thing would happen if Becky stopped sitting on her eggs. They'd finally spoil. And we'd lose a hundred eggs and none of those little chicks would ever hatch out. Lassie wants us. Maybe Vicky's eggs hatched. Run along. I'm about finished here anyway. You think Lassie hatched the eggs? Here did you, buddy. This is the girl. Yes? Mr. Jenkins called from Capital City. The incubator arrived. Good. Be right in. When did he call? A few minutes ago. He can't deliver it till Friday. Friday? Well, I told him we needed it, but he said his only truck's in the shop. Oh, great. Today's Monday. I can't possibly keep that old incubator going another five oh, days. Honey, don't holler at me. Well, who else am I going to shout out? Jenkins? He can't hear me. He's 50 miles away. Anyway, this raising chickens was all your idea. Egg money for Timmy's college education. Aren't you glad you married such a smart girl? Smart is right, getting me to do all the work. I told you, as soon as they come out of the incubator, I take full charge. Water them, feed them, nurse them when they're well, sick. Well, they'll never see the light of day if I don't get that new incubator. I've got to pick it up tomorrow morning, and you're coming with me. I can't. I have all this bread, though. I'm setting out to rise overnight. I'm baking in the morning. Oh, the baking can wait. We're going to the big city. What about Timmy? Then stay here. You haven't been off the farm in months. Now we're going along. I will not leave that child by himself. Well, Scott will be here. Scott's a child, too. Then call Mrs. Grimes to babysit. Are you serious? Well, must it be a national holiday for a man to want to be out with his wife? <laughs> that egg's never gonna hatch. You might as well go up. I gotta make Becky sit on it. I'm tired of sitting around and watching your old egg anyway. How would you like it if you were inside an egg and you couldn't get out? I wouldn't like it if I could. Who wants to be a chicken anyway? I think you're funny making fun of a little chicken that isn't even born yet. Well, I'd rather be a duck. Whack, 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 but she'll never sit on the egg. Who cares? I do. Well, I quack, 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 quack. Yeah, the shark. There's nothing there that goes out anyway except plus old old egg. Oh, the quack, 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 quack. Don't come back. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
wrong, Timmy? Well, Becky's eggs didn't hatch. And Scott didn't even care. Thought it was funny. I'm never gonna see him again. I wouldn't blame Scott too much. After all, Becky is your hen, not his. How many chicks does Becky have? Five out of six eggs? It's better than average. Last night I watched and watched. And that little egg kept getting colder. And Becky wouldn't come back and sit on it. I know how you feel, dear. But sometimes that's nature's way. Maybe something told Becky that one of the eggs was bad. Or that five babies were about all she could care for. Maybe. You wash your hands and get ready for supper. They're not dirty. Why don't you wash them anyway, just to keep them practice? Put your towel back where it belongs and wipe out the basin. Thank you, Lassie. I wish some of your neatness would rub off on our son. Mrs. Grimes coming? Oh, we'll have to break the news to Timmy. He's going to love having a babysitter. Mm -hmm. A babysitter? I thought you were going to wash up, young man. I came back to get Lassie. Why do I have to have a babysitter? Because your mother and I are going into town on business. Now, we'll be back as quickly as we can. Well, why can't I stay? Because you're only seven, dear. If I'm old enough to go to school and do chores and brush my teeth... When your father or Lassie or I remind you. Somebody has to stay here and keep an eye on the farm, and you too, and on that thermostat. Now, wouldn't it be a fine howdy-do if we were to lose all those checks on the day we got a new incubator? I'd invite Scott over. We'd take care of everything. I thought you were never going to speak to him again. This is an emergency. Exactly, and that's why we asked Mrs. Grimes to come. Now, let's see. The beds are made. Pans are ready. The dough's in the oven. Mrs. Grimes will finish the baking for me. Why don't you call Scott and have him come over? Spend the day with you. We're not speaking. What about the emergency? Hey, look what I found, huh? Can I come in? Of course, dear. Aren't you out pretty early this morning? Jenny told my mother she was going to Capital City, so I thought Timmy could stay at my house. How would you like that, dear? I've got things to do here. Well, then maybe Scott could stay with you. Sure, I'll call my mother. If Scott stays, do we have to have Mrs. Grimes? Yes, we do. Well, that's life. I'm sorry about being mean yesterday. That's all right. How's Becky doing with the chicks? Yeah, I'll show you. Don't forget to call your mother, Scott. I'll... You ready? Mm-hmm. Do you remind Mrs. Grimes about checking the thermostat? Yeah, well, that little omission just might cost us a hundred checks. Well, I'll call her right now. I can just see you halfway to Capital City. Oh, I forgot to tell Mrs. Grimes. Oh, stop grumbling. We remembered it in time, didn't we? We? Oh, hi, Jenny. Will you ring Mrs. Grimes, please? Thank you, Jenny. She's not home. I'll write her a note. Bye. We'll be back before you miss us. You stay here until Mrs. Grimes comes. Keep an eye on them, girl, and don't let them get into trouble. Oh, Mom. Wonder how old you have to be before you don't need a babysitter. Ten, 
Maybe 12. My pup says, as soon as I can prove I'm ready for responsibility, he'd let me have some. How are you going to prove you're ready when you never get a chance? <laughs> Jenny? Hello? Yes, ma'am, Mrs. Grimes. It's her. Is your mother there? No, ma'am. She isn't. Well, she's been trying to reach me, young man. Do you know what for? No. But... Well, what is it, Timmy? But I think she wanted to tell you you didn't have to come. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Thank you just the same. Are you going to catch it? Now we can prove we can take care of ourselves. Say when. If she's not hungry, what does she want? I don't know. What do you want, girl? She wants me to wipe the floor. Father, wouldn't it? Sure would. Thanks, Messy. Let's get started.
clean it up a little. trouble Jenny's been telling me about. Where's your mother? And why is that dog carrying on so? It's in the kitchen. We've got to show you. First things first. What's bothering that dog? Mom told her to keep us out of trouble, but we just wouldn't listen. What have you done? we got to show you. In there. All right. Let's go. Merciful saints above. Did you two make all this mess? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Was it your idea telling me not to come? I... We were going to take care of ourselves. Oh, I see. Well... Let's see what we can do before your folks come home. Can we help? I wish you'd try and stop that dog from barking. It hurts my ears. Oh, right. Right, right. <laughs> oh boys, boys. Now Mrs. Grimes won't be able to hear. And when the house is clean, they won't come out and get you. Then you might stop barking. Come on. I appreciate your coming. Hello, men. Dad's outside with a new incubator. Why not? Mom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, come out here, quick. I hope nothing's happened with the eggs. Took you so long, look. I know how you feel, son. It's a wonderful thing to see new life beginning. It's a nice thing about being a farmer. Well, as he tried to tell us, I better go home now. Bye. No, it was me. I told Mrs. Grimes not to come. We wanted to take care of ourselves and help you, too. But the thermostat wouldn't work. And if Mrs. Grimes hadn't have come, all the chicks would have died before they were born. Lassie tried to tell us about the chicks, and we put her in the barn. 
and everything that Timmy did, I helped. Mrs. Bang thought you some of the old bread she baked. I wondered where that seventh loaf came from. Lucy has more sense than anybody. Except Mrs. Grimes, I mean. She tried and tried to tell us. I'm sorry, Joe. I'm sorry I have something to do. I learned something today. I'm not too old for a babysitter. And Lucy knows a lot more about responsibility than anybody.